I spent a lot of time with mom and she was she stopped eating by the time I got there, but I had about a week week with her and just sat by her bed. Mm. And uh, uh, and uh, I just took notes from the little things that happened, but one of the things that uh, uh, see if I can find one. there's so many little funny things that she did. Um, Sad things too. One time, uh, she, you know, I was just there, and she would always just often would just open her eyes and look my way and just see if I was sitting there. So just, um, but one time, uh, this is four or five days without food, and she would hit the. I wasn't sure whether she would like, just. Uh, unconscious and gonna be, you know, or whether she was sleeping or what, but she would, uh, one time, it was a long time that she was out and her, she was, uh, had her mouth gaped and, you know, just the tight lips mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and so, you know, I'm not, I don't know what's going on, where she is, and, and but she opened her eyes and looked at me and said, fooled you. <laughs> she read your mind. I said, You got me, Mom. And I thought, Fool me every day, Mom. Fool me every day. Don't ever stop. All the time, Trevor. That'll make you smart. Oh, yeah. You'll yeah. be driving down the road. And... and there was another funny one, too. Uh, there was lots of them, but. Uh, uh, let's see, what day is this? This is day five. So she. Um, and my brother uh, has a girlfriend and he, uh, she came in and mom had been at, you know, pretty, I mean, she's only up to like seconds and I wasn't sure if Kathy was going to, mom was going to be up, but she kind of came up to mom and, and started talking to her. Mom was still kind of asleep and then, uh, Mom opened up her eyes, and Kathy says, <laughs> she says, you look good, Mrs. Quayle. And, she, and <laughs> without a second hesitation, Mom smirked big and croaked, what? For a dying woman? I <laughs> 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 uh, just like dropped the mic on that one. <laughs> Because she was fully aware. Yes, she was. Wow. Yeah. Mm. She she was herself mm. until the, the she yeah. slept twelve hours. Mm. You know she was very sleepy and weak, mm. but when she answered, when she, she was, was her and she was mom, she was like, "Where's Emmett? Yeah. Where you know have you had your breakfast yet, Charlie?" Wow. <laughs> she was still being mom. She was like. She perfected the eight second interchange. It was so it was like brief and then she was yeah. Again. yeah, and like you know, mm. me, she I mean, this is just typical of our interaction anyway, and that is, oh, I like your shirt, or that's a you know, I mean so she was saying that every morning, you know, oh, I like your shirt. <laughs> just like, you know, admiring the clothes or whatever. It's just what she does. Mm. Uh, that was was nice. Yeah, she had another one. Because um, there were, she couldn't talk very well at all. And so, uh, and she would look, and uh, I was trying to interpret a look or whatever. And, um, and uh, so it's like, Mom, is your pillow okay? You know, as I fussed over and she said, yeah, I yell. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the way in the world she yells. Uh, and there was another one too and I said, uh, uh, you know, do, do you want me to put your pillow underneath? And, you know, and she says, whatever, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because I was just making things up. I don't know. So she thought, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. Do you, you want to? Yeah, you try to help. Fuss. Yeah, she did. 